This audio file is recorded for www.osmanian.com s Shrine of Zalinga, 1874-1941, the son of an orthodox Sri Vaishnava Brahmin and respected and affluent landowner of Famanathapuram, Ramnade, District, Madras. Shrinavasa was born on September 11, 1874. Shrinavasa Inga commenced practice the Madras High Court in 1898, and advanced to the top of the profession in an incredibly short time. His intimate knowledge of Hindu Dharma Shastras and of the great classics of jurisprudence and constitutional law coupled with his original inquiring mind, made him a legal thinker in his own right and his edition of Maine's Hindu Law, 1939 was hailed as a classic. Besides law, Srinivasa Inga's other interests were education, social reform, and politics. Among his early influences were Sir Sankaran Nair, who presided over the Amrati Congress, and C. Vijayaragave Chariah, who presided over the Nagpur Congress 1920. He was also an admirer of Kohl, in whose name he endowed a prize, and later of Mahatma. Although Srinivasa Inga felt concerned about the developing political situation in India at least after 1910, it was only in 1920 that he took the plunge into politics, having resigned the office of Advocate General. He presided over the Madras Provincial Conference, 1920, at Ranelvli, gave up his princely practice at the bar, resigned the membership of the Legislative Council, to which he had been returned by the registered graduates, returned the CIE to the government and took a leading part in Congress affairs. He actively participated in the Congress sessions from Ahmedabad, 1921, to Lahore, 1929, and gave an unparalleled lead to the Congress in Madras for about ten years. After the Congress had decided on council entry he led the party to victory in Madras in 1926 and was himself elected from Madras to the Central Assembly and also acted as leader for a time when Motil Nehru was away from India. Shrine of Zalinga presided over the Gauhati session of the Indian National Congress, December 1926, and during his tenure of presidentship did great deal to bring about a rapprochement between the leaders of the Hindu and Muslim communities, and his efforts were crowned with success at the Madras Congress, December 1927, where the resolution on Hindu-Muslim unity was passed with general all-round support. It was also about this time that he published Swaraj Constitution, outlining a federal scheme of government for future India. When the All Parties Report, known as the Nehru Report, was published in 1928 outlining a constitution for India in terms of dominion status. Srinivasa Inga organized the Independence League with himself as president and Jawaharlal Nehru and Subhas Chandra Bose as secretaries. The differences between Motil Nehru and Srinivasa Inga on the issue of dominion statues versus independence became acute during 1929 and although it was decided finally in favor of independence at the Lahore Congress in December 1929, Shrine of Zalinga himself decided to retire from active public life early in 1930. He made, however, a brief return to political life in 1939 as a dynamo of political thought, than an organization man. He died suddenly on May 19, at his residence in Madras. Srinivasa Inga was undoubtedly the most brilliant, the most dynamic and the most versatile of the South Indian leaders during the, between the wars, period. By his extensive educative tours in Madras, he carried the message of nationalism to the remotest villages, and it was to his credit that he made the Madras province Congress minded. His great intellectual distinction, the singular purity of his personal life and his powerful advocacy of Indian's case for independence won for him numerous admirers all over India. Young Kamaraj of Viradhan Agar was one of Srinivasa Inga's many finds, and among his staunchest supporters were Satya Murti, Mataranga Mudalia and Subhas. Chandra Bose. Srinivasa Inga was a believer in linked leadership by which he meant that a real leader should maintain meaningful contacts with all the cadres in the political organization and from the national to the village level. In recent decades, his ideal has been put to practice with great success.